So guys, the entry level segment is filled with lots of devices, whether good or bad. And at times, it might be difficult to make the right decision or the right choice because of how saturated the segment is. So I made a pretty good research in this segment and I've been able to come up with these two, but I'm still not settled yet. That's why I want to compare them side by side to see which one comes up on top. So to help you make a purchase decision. Speaking of purchase decision, this video is brought to you by CoinCola. CoinCola is a cryptocurrency marketplace where you can buy or sell all kinds of cryptocurrency. iTunes gift card, Amazon gift card, Google Play gift card, and many more. More to this later in the video. If you're new to this channel, please kindly hit on that subscribe button to join this awesome family. And be sure to turn on your post notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. So guys, welcome to the Infinix Hot 7 Pro and the Technospark 3 Pro comparison. These two devices price about the same. Though if I want to be honest here, the Infinix Hot 7 Pro is about 2000 Naira higher, which I believe the difference isn't much. These two devices are similar in many areas, like the port placement, button placement and the camera placement as well, though they look different in their appearance. The Tecmo Spark 3 Pro looks more beautiful and attractive, at least from a distance, but when you get closer and hold it, you notice how cheap it feels. But hold on, not in a bad way. So what I mean here is, if you should hold it side by side with the Hot 7 Pro, you begin to feel discouraged on the build quality. While the Hot 7 Pro doesn't look too nice and attractive like the Spark 3 Pro, it feels a lot like a complete package, it feels well constructed, it feels compact and the overall build quality is more decent than that of the Spark 3 Pro. This doesn't make the Spark 3 Pro look bad in any way. I still like the flashy design because it makes it look more modern than the Hot 7 Pro. So I give the design to the Spark 3 Pro and the build quality to the Hot 7 Pro. So moving on is the display. They both share similar display with the notch on top. They offer same resolution which is a 720x1500 at 6.2 inch display with a pixel density of 268. Both display is sharp with good contrast and vivid colors, good viewing angles and they are both responsive to touch. But if you look closely, you will notice the Spark 3 Pro appears to be on the warmer side while the Hot 7 Pro stays as white as possible. As a 720p display, both phones plays online videos at 720p resolution. So on the spec sheet, both devices rocks a 2GB of RAM and a 32GB of internal storage. The Infinix Hot 7 Pro comes with an octa-core MediaTek CPU that is clocked at 1.6 GHz for the first 4 cores and a 2.3 GHz for the remaining 4 cores, a 4000 mAh battery and what is powering this guy is Android 9 Pi. While the Tecno Spark 3 Pro has a quad-core MediaTek CPU that is clocked at 2.0 GHz, a 3500 mAh battery and it comes with Android 9 Pi out of the box. All these are entry level specifications and I must say performance on these two is okay. They get basic tax done, but obviously there are some minimal lags here and there on both devices. But I find myself leaning towards the Spark 3 Pro. I was surprised on how smooth most things feel on the Spark 3 Pro, despite the fact that it has a quad core CPU. I was expecting more from the Hot 7 Pro that has an octa core processor. I noticed too many lags on the Hot 7 Pro than the Spark 3 Pro. And it is something I can't really say why it is behaving this way. Probably a software update can fix the stability issues on the Hot 7 Pro. But basic tasks like browsing the web, playing some light games and consuming social content is decent on both phones. The Hot 7 Pro has the largest amount of battery here. The 4000 mAh battery can comfortably last for a day and a half. And during my time with it, I never had any issues of thinking about recharging it or something. While the same cannot be said about the Tecno Spark 3 Pro, the Spark 3 Pro has a decent amount of battery inside which is a 3500 mAh battery and it will comfortably last for a day if all you do is far from something too intensive. And if I may be honest here, I don't have any complaint when it comes to battery life on these two devices. About the camera, the Infinix Hot 7 Pro packs a quad camera all together, two in front and two at the back with same amount of megapixels count on both sides, which is a 13 plus 2 megapixels camera. While the Tecno Spark 3 has similar setup at the rear, 
which is 13 plus 2 megapixels camera, it takes different routes in the selfie department by offering a single sensor in front which is an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Both devices text decent images with good details and accurate colors, but the Hot 7 Pro sometimes oversaturate its image too much, making the colors look too deep and vibrant, which might be a good thing for some people, but in reality it is far from real life looking images. High dynamic range on both phones appear to be okay, though it could have been much better. I couldn't complain much knowing that the price is way too fair for what you're getting. Both devices shoot video in 1080p resolution and this is what it looks like. So this brings us back to coin cola. If you are in Nigeria or any other part of the world, I want to tell you that coin cola is the best place to sell or buy today's trending cryptocurrency. The best place to sell almost all your gift card like iTunes gift card, Amazon gift card, Google Play gift card and lots more. Today's crypto marketplace can be tricky and there are a lot of scammers and rippers out there. So it becomes difficult to know which one is truly legit. So with coin cola, be rest assured that you are in the right place. CoinCola offers super fast and secure trading services that rivals or even surpass other trading platforms with one aim of true transparency in its business. They offer low rate of percentage charge per gift card and in return, you have high rate of transaction fee which makes it a win-win for you, the seller. And I bet you can hardly find such offer elsewhere. So you might be wondering what makes CoinCola the best. Well, it is very simple. CoinCola is registered with Corporate Affairs Commission. They have the best security system and it is risk-free. You can easily trade with any buyer with highest rates. They don't have limits to amount of gift card you can trade on, starting from 10 to even $200. And they also accept major currencies like US dollars, Canadian dollars, euros and many more. And above all, it takes less than 5 minutes to get your money after your gift card has been redeemed by the buyer. To learn more about CoinCola and also get started, there's a 5% bonus to any new user that register with the sign up link in the description. I will also add additional links that support your platform directly like Android or iOS for more convenience. And you can even earn more from CoinCola with their referral program. Just refer a friend to sign up using your own referral link and sit back and earn money that can even help you purchase any of these devices. So the Infinix Hot 7 Pro and the Technospark 3 Pro are decent phone in its price bracket. They perform about the same and they behave about the same. But I find myself leaning towards the Technos Pack 3 because of how snappy and responsive the user interface feels. It just feels a bit less laggy than the Hot 7 Pro. So if you're in for something that feels solid, all round and well put together, best battery life, then the Hot 7 Pro is the way to go. But if you're like me that could care less about build quality in this price point and rather prefer a snappy device with a good user experience, then the Techno Smart 3 Pro is the way to go. That is it guys, this takes us to the end of today's video. Share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. Like and share this video to help someone make a buying decision. And please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.